They say you can save hundreds of thousands of gallons of water, fertilizer, herbicide, and pesticides all with ball technology. Jeremy from Edom Irrigation is joining us. As you guys are going to be at the Nebraska Ag Expo December 5th through the 7th. Tell me about this ball. How can it save hundreds of thousands of gallons of water? Right. So the uh, the Edom ball sprinkler head is uh, sort of a new innovation um, in in, uh, in the sprinkler world. We're relatively new, but uh, it's, it's very simple. It's uh, simply a, a hollow ball with uh, different holes uh, put in it. We melt the holes or drill the holes depending on the size. Um, and it's omnidirectional, so we can spray the water any which direction, high, low, uh, flat, any way we want. Um, the water savings uh, comes from, um, you know, reduced loss from wind, evaporation, any of those things. It's really a, uh, a, a water savings that way uh, that we found with the, with the way our sprinkler shoots. Now, Jeremy, as you walk around different expos, uh, ag events, people have the, the flashy signs up there. But I know you guys have been doing research in conjunction with the university to prove your product out in the field, right? Yeah, that's right. We've done some stuff with the uh, University Extension Center here in Scotts Bluff uh, the past couple of years. Uh, I'm waiting on the 2023 results. We're expecting good ones there. Uh, 2022, when we had a pretty dry year out here, um, we had some uh, better yields than their standard uh, other sprinkler heads from uh, the competition there. Um, you know, it, it's all again, it's all about saving water out here in the in the dry end of the state. And so uh, that's something we really want to hang our hats on is uh, those, those water savings. You say you guys are the dry end of the state down in Scott's Bluff, but this year, I think it was about the opposite way. As, that's right. Uh, the fate had it. I saw you guys out to, at another show this past year. You like to have the product there on display so people can get their hands on it. Uh, tell me a little about your setup and what you guys are planning on for this year's Nebraska Ag Expo. Yeah, sure. So we'll have uh, we'll have some different examples of the product, the different things we offer. We'll have three or four different uh, of the balls there, the different configurations. We also do uh, some drop extensions and some other things that we're working on that, uh, that we'll have to show and tell. Uh, we'll have a bunch of video running because obviously we can't be irrigating inside the show, of course, but uh, so we'll have video and, and different things, and a few of us will be there to chat with any of the, the growers or any of the folks that want to stop by and see us. Well, I think you just gave us a new idea of what to showcase at the Nebraska Ag Expo. Somehow find a way to do some irrigation exhibits uh, under the roof. Jeremy, really appreciate the time today. Looking forward to seeing you at the Nebraska Ag Expo. You bet. Looking forward to it.